Hi, my name is Jeff Whitman and I'm a systems engineer for VIB Solutions. Today we're going to cover a very simple topic, and just a single topic basically, that uh, covers the thing called the wiring test. And I'm sure um, when you first got your units, the ONX 580 or the 580P, uh, they probably told you to look at the right side of the unit and there's a great big gray rubber flap that covers a whole bunch of ports on the side. You've got dual Ethernet ports, the USB ports, you've got an RJ11 for POTS if you want to plug in a line cord and use it as a dialer. You've got the modem port for your DSL services. And then you've got the thing on the bottom right there that says wiring test. What's that? There's actually two ports. One's an RJ11. The other one is an RJ45, and that's easy to see because it has a metal frame around it. Okay, so what is this going to be for? Well, let me show you. Um, what it's going to do is allow you to check the pinouts or the integrity of any existing or brand new Ethernet cable. Some that have maybe have been out there for years and others you're pulling right out of a bag. The other thing we're going to need is this little yellow brick called a termination unit. Okay, so what we do is we make a connection with the, internet, uh, the Ethernet cable that we want to test. We plug one end into the port on the side of the one expert. The other one, the other end, we actually plug into, again, the RJ45 that has a little metal frame around it on the yellow termination unit. You should have received one of these little blocks in your bag. If you haven't, just go through it. It's real easy with all the stuff that came in that thing to kind of miss it. But uh, very simple little brick. That there's nothing magic about it. This is in no way a any kind of a wire or cable certifier. All it does is show you the pinouts and make sure that those uh, cables that you're using for a high-speed internet or video install um, are pinned out correctly and the continuity is there. So overall just a, a uh, continuity check, quality check. Okay, I'm now going to bring up uh, my unit itself and what I'm going to do is go down to the wiring tools app right there and all you have to do is once you get there is hit the OK key or you can just hit your finger on that open it up and the first thing we come to is the little lines there called wiring maps so I'll go ahead and hit OK and open that guy this is the only thing we're going to cover today this very short recording okay now what I would do is take my old, new, whatever Ethernet cable, anything that I want to test. And you can see at the bottom, I can test a CAT3, I can test a CAT5 or 6, and I can send tones. So I'll talk to you about that in a second. In this particular case in my office here, I have a CAT6 Ethernet cable. So I've connected one end to the termination unit, the other end to my one expert. I've selected CAT56, and all I do is go to the bottom right and hit the Start button. What it's going to do, first of all, is see if that remote is out there. Without the remote, you won't get any information whatsoever. It has to see those pins. In this particular case, obviously I threw a good one on there. You can see the, the pinouts. One goes to one, two to, goes to two, and so on and so forth. And then on the far left here, you can see that it's giving you a rough distance of how long that particular cable is. So in this case, it's anywhere from six to eight feet long. Okay, And that's all it's doing there is reading the capacitance in twisted pair, which is doing its best just to take that capacitance value and calculate it to a distance. All right. Now let's do something else. I'm going to connect this to a known bad cable. So obviously I have 100% control over that. Got this all set up. So I'm going to plug in another cable and all I have to do is hit the start again. I, it's already in CAT5, I know that. So it's looking for the remote 
it sees the remote, but it tells me that pins 1 to 1 and 2 to 2 are completely open. Okay? It found the ID or the uh, termination unit because the other uh, conductors were continuous through there. It says I'm open about halfway or half the distance because it looks like it's about a 7-foot cable, which it is. Tells me that it's open at 3 feet. So with that, I've just proved that I've got a problem in it. I better take a look at another one. The other thing that I told you we could do by going down to the third button from the bottom, just to the left of the start button, we can send different cadences of tone. 577 hertz tone, so it's a good locate tone. The only thing that you'll have to do is use your probe to pick the tone up. Okay, so whether you clip it to your butt set or it's got a speaker built into it, I've used a lot of different ones over the years. They've got good ones out there. And high, low, or low, short, high is nothing more than the cadence of the tone that it's going to send. Okay, so you've got high or low, and you've got the different combinations there. So it gives you the ability to actually tone things out. Not that you're probably going to uh, actually uh, cut into the outer sheath and make a repair, but gives you the ability to chase when you've got a whole bunch of these cables all meshed together in an office or somewhere uh, back in the frame or something um, to locate that one particular cable. So I hope this helped. Uh, just gives you another feature that you can try out and use with the unit. Just look for those little termination units and we'll talk to you later about some other special features. Thanks very much for your attention.